what if all life on Earth died, and now we fast forward a billion years, what would be the traces left? It, so the question I'm trying to ask is, if life had existed on Mars, what would be the signs we would look for? That's a very good question. The thing is that if you draw the parallel with Earth, it took 82% of Earth history, uh, geological history, to go from very simple life, microbial life, to complexity. And when I'm saying complexity, I'm not even talking about us. I'm talking about animals. So Mars is smaller, lost its magnetic field very fast, and lost its atmosphere very fast. Life also appeared on Earth very fast. So the condition being quite similar at that time between the Earth and Mars, let's assume for a moment that life appeared on Mars. It would have been simple life when conditions started to degrade, which was less than a billion years after the planet had formed. So everything at the surface would have disappeared, except maybe for morphological traces of the interaction between life and its environment. So on Earth, the best example are what we call stromatolites. These are rock formation that are built by microbes. So we know that, we, we, we know how to recognize them. You could have chemical traces as well. There is some interesting question marks right now about carbon isotopes uh, at Gale uh, Crater because we found an abundance of uh, C12, which normally is used by life on Earth, but it can produce, be produced by other things. So it's not that it's a real biosignature in itself, but it's intriguing. We have now the C12 and we have methane. But uh, going back, it's a time on Mars 3.5 billion years ago where you have lots of destructions, where you have lots of impact cratering, etc. So, But we still have very old rocks that are that survive from that time. So these are good uh, good places. That's why we're sending the rovers in those places, ancient lakes and impact craters, and, and places where you have very old rocks. So when you say ancient lakes and impact craters, the simple question, so impact crater is a crater created by a giant rock hitting the planet? And yes, a big rock that can be metal or rock, or it can be a comet as well, mostly ice. So is that good for life or bad for life? <laughs> for both. creating life and, both. and destroying life? Both. It's actually both. Um, interestingly enough, the building blocks of life, the bricks, the stuff we are made of, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, and phosphorus, they were included on our planet, they were built in just because our planet is made of these kind of rocks, asteroids and comets coming together by what we call accretion. So they were built in. When an asteroid comes, there is a lot of destruction going on. But at the same time, those rocks, they bring with them those bricks of life and they create lots of energy. And if the environment around is favorable, you might possibly be have some seeding going on. That's one of the aspects of what we call panspermia, uh, which is the fact that comets and asteroids have the building blocks of life embedded in them, and that given favorable condition, they might be able to seed planets. This is a theory. 